Okay, so that was super fun. Uh, we just went to the, what is that called? It's the like... I think it's, it's one of the local parks. Yeah, we went to like some local park and um, there's just a group of kids playing wiffle ball, like, you know, a couple of kids with, um, that was definitely their dad and like probably like an uncle or something like that. And we just joined in, we started playing wiffle ball with them and that was a ton of fun. You, you know, just random strangers and that's, to me, something that's like really fulfilling in life is that little, it's, it's those little things of being able to have those interactions with people that you don't necessarily know, but like, you know, everyone is trying to have a positive experience and you know, sometimes it's a good thing to, you know, just randomly do things like that. And I, and I really had fun doing that and I could tell it definitely, you know, helped their day too. And that's just something that feels really good to do. All right, everyone, we are taking a stop right now to get some very overpriced food. You didn't hear that. Um, but question today, question number 13 is, what is something popular right now that annoys you? Hmm, it's a difficult question in my opinion, but I'd say... I'll say my answer first. Uh, don't get me wrong on this one but I think my new least favorite word is the word empowered. I think that is by far my least favorite word right now because every time I hear it, I can't help but cringe because of how much it gets used to just be a horrible person and attack people. I think uh, the most iPad kids, it's gotta be iPad kids, they're very annoying. I'm not even gonna lie. And it's popular now, it's... it's I don't, I don't see it that often because I'm not around kids that often, but like, that, the idea, that definitely does annoy me, so yeah, I'll, I'll give that one to you. Alright, so, for this next question, we actually have the same place written down, but we don't have the same city written down. So, the question is, what did you do on your last vacation? In my case, uh, I was in Florida, and uh, I pretty much hung around my parents and my grandpa and walked around uh, South Pasadena, Florida, which is right next to St. Petersburg. That's where I'm from, technically. Uh, last vacation was in Orlando, Florida, where I visited my sister, but technically that's a weird question to be asking while I am on vacation myself. Alright my friends on the vlog, let's play a game here. Point to Angel Island. If you said this island right here, you would be correct. That is Angel Island. Do you see what I'm pointing to, Max? Now I see. Alright Max, it's question time. So, in your free time, do you prefer to relax, or are you more of an active person? This depends on where I live. Now, here in San Francisco, I value just having free time and relaxing. But, if I'm in Connecticut, I will absolutely use that time to drive around somewhere. Ladies and gentlemen, you could say we know the way to San Jose because we have officially arrived in San Jose. And if you need any more proof, here's my man Logan Couture. Yes, I am wearing his jersey. We are in fact in San Jose. So this is a moment to celebrate by asking another question, baby. So this question is, who is your oldest best friend and where did you meet them? My oldest friend, that's a long question because how many friends have stuck with me throughout the ages? I'd have to say that my longest friend... Current friend, I'll say. Longest and current friend has to be Noah. Ooh. Because it's gotta be... We, like, me being friends with him dates back to at least, like, late sophomore year of high school. Yeah, that would be the latest. Um, we did meet freshman year, though. I would, for me, mine 
I'm sorry, Max is not <laughs> would not be you. Oh, yeah, for, obviously. for me, mine is Nicholas McLean the eighth. We met in kindergarten, and for whatever reason, we've always been intertwined in each other's lives because we played the same sports. And our converse and our first conversation was literally just about a random Superman backpack. So yeah, there you go. That's your answer, Nicholas McLean the eighth. Okay, you're free to come out. Oh no, oh no, look who it is. Look who it is. He's here to give me trouble. He's here to take my championship again. Oh no, no, really? Mm -hmm. All right. It's my greatest opponent ever. Yeah. We've, we've had multiple five-star matches before. One of them taking place outside of SAP Center. <laughs> the other one taking place in his bedroom where I got killed, essentially. Oh yeah. Yeah, I don't want to ever feel a stunner ever again. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are right in front of the SAP Center. We are about to walk in, but before we do, I have a question for everyone. What is the best thing about your workplace or your school? Oh, I'm gonna say for my school, the nature. It's, uh, it's right like at the end of the mountains over there, and it's really nice during the day when the trees are all green guys all blue and it's very nice yeah, all right too. all right for my workplace i'd probably say uh the sunsets and the sunrises sunsets and sunrises yes. you got you got a nice view yes very nice view okay how about you max i think us best, yeah the best part about usf has got to be the view out of my window like the view out of my dorm room amazing that sun All right, I would say the best thing about Panera Bread is just the environment, like of personalities that you get there. Um, like I've worked at a like at a bunch of different places, but no place has really captured the vibe that you get from working at a Panera. Like all the Paneras are just so tight. Like everyone's so tight with each other. Like everyone's like always in a good mood when talking to each other. You don't ever get like bad vibes. So. I love working at Panera for that reason that, you know, just even all the managers are just amazing at all the locations, excuse me, that I've gone to. So definitely, I that's something I really like about Panera. Goaltending by Capo Kakinen, ladies and gentlemen. 0.3 seconds left. This thing is the definition of pretentious, and I've never felt like I've spent $50 better than this. Alright, we are halfway through the game, which means that it is time for another question. Alright, if you had entrance music, what would it be? Seek and destroy. Seek and destroy, alright. Very, very timely. That is the shark's entrance music. Um, I don't know. I, I've i always used Simple Man when I'm pitching. Because right? that's the Bronx. That's the Bronx music. Yep. So Simple Man, probably would go with that.
left to play in the period. Uh, oh. So James, which came first, the chicken or the egg? Chicken. The chicken? All right, thank you, James. All right, everyone. I don't know if you could read the room, but we have a lot of tired people right now, a lot of red eyes and a lot of rubbing eyes and a lot of people about to pass out. So we're gonna finish up the vlog here, guys. Uh, this is goodbye from me, Max, and there we go, I'll get the direction right. I can't tell. Lincoln, today has been just about as close to a perfect day as I could ever imagine, and I'm super thankful that I got to experience this. So, once again, thank you, Lincoln, and thank you, Max, for come, for having me out here. And this man is the goat of the West Coast. <laughs> oh, jeez. The West Coast That's angel. Bad. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Make sure to like, Subscribe and ringy ding ding that bell for some more amazing content from Golden Productions. This is Noah Golden. Say your name. He has a name. The Great. And Lincoln Juarez. All right. Thank you, everybody, and have a good one.